Time to talk winners and losers with our financial expert, Rob Black. Hi, Rob. Good morning, Daria. Uh, so how are the markets doing on this first day of May? Um, usually there's a phrase called sell in May and go away. So they don't do terribly well as a lot of people try to get in front of that. Uh, but also it's a Fed rate decision day. And six months ago, we were expecting the Fed to cut six times this year. Then it became three times. Now it's two times. So that easy money cut, not there right now. We'll learn a little bit more at 11 a.m. this morning. Amazon's a winner on some AI news last night and good earnings. Starbucks is a loser down 16%. CVS down 20%. They're saying weakening consumer, weakening average person. Uh, Friday, we get a big jobs number. Um, so all things considered, I like where we are. The economy is fine. Earnings are nice. Inflation's under 3%. Um, but there's a little stubbornness to the, the wage inflation and some of the inflationary gauges. So um, not quite there yet. Mm, I made a bad business decision because, I, you know, my kid's graduating. So I bought him a $60 piece of luggage. So I have, I'm flying Frontier. So okay. I have to pay $65 to take the luggage with me for, to give him the gift, by the way. Uh, but I always carry on anyway because I don't want them to lose my bags. Yeah, um, a pretty cool statistic came out last night that uh, American Airlines, not American Airlines, but airlines that fly in the United States, yeah. um, lost 2.8 million bags last year with American Airlines being the biggest culprit, losing 29% of all the bags. So um, fortunately, you're not flying American. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> you're, you're getting hit with that baggage fee and that hurts. I know, but I always carry on because I'd rather have to do that than have them lose my bags. Um, also, this Saturday is... May the 4th be with yep. you. <laughs> Force be with you. I know that there's a big time for people to watch movies all day long. Yeah, um, one theater is going to show all nine Star Wars movies back to back to back to back. That's in Texas. Um, if you want to go, let me know. Um, Lego Star Wars and Disney are doing big promotion events of 20% off. Same with Target and Walmart. So if you have a Star Wars nerd in your family, and I'm kind of thinking about James at this yes. point in time. Um, <laughs> Yeah, James wanted to go. Jay, no, James wanted to go, and his kid, James was the kid. He asked his kid, and his kid's like, Dad, I'm really too busy. I can't, I can't spend all day and night in the theater. <laughs> That's in the cradle. So. Um, <laughs> kids moved on. Hey, get back to uh, Starbucks, though, just because you were saying, you, did you call them a loser? That, that, have they lost a lot yeah. of money? Sales are down? Yeah. Stocks, stocks down about um, 16% this morning. So sales were down about 2%, earnings were down about 14%, consumers slowing, global sales down about 4%, China down 11%. So it's hard to find good news. In the United States, there was higher prices due to inflation and them raising prices, um, but the transactions were down. So there's nothing good in this number. Um, they've had problems with the $20 California minimum wage. They're doing a lot of promos. They've had um, boycotts tied towards the Israel-Hamas scenario or situation response that they've had to it. The good news is they've got a great loyalty program and people are active with it. Um, and the lavender drinks are doing really well, some spicy drinks this uh, spring as well. This summer, have you heard? You've heard of boba tea, haven't you? Uh, I, yeah, I know what boba is. Okay. I wasn't born yesterday. Okay, I'm just making sure, just making sure. Um, I was is, born yesterday. Okay. <laughs> I'm I like, didn't learn about it until last year when my kids started asking for boba tea. Oh, and really? And not, and not that I'm saying I like it, because I don't like to chew my drink, because you, you have the big straw, and then you have to chew, and it's kind of weird. So, anyway, is something going on with boba? Yeah, they're coming out. Starbucks is coming out with it this summer, and oh. um, it's just a ton of sugar, and it, it should help. But um, with that being said, not a great quarter for Starbucks. The kids? Uh, no, just teaching us. The consumer's slowing, Daria. The kids do like boba, by the way. Okay, uh, let's just talk lastly about what's going on with pot. Because if they change marijuana uh, and make it more like Tylenol, the, change, the classification, that could have big tax implications and business could boom. And this is where Wall Street meets uh, Main Street and politics. The Biden administration yesterday asked for easing uh, restrictions, um, turning it from a Schedule uh, 1 drug uh, that's tied towards heroin and meth into a Schedule 3, like you said, Tylenol with codeine. Um, you could probably think anabolic steroids as well. So things that aren't as addictive. Yesterday, the ETFs MSOS and MJUS both were up 19 to 20% on the news. That's a huge move. Individual stocks like Curaleaf up 19% and Trueleaf was up 30%. I don't own any of these stocks. I don't want to own any of these stocks. It's too kind of too far out of my uh, wicket, so to speak. And mm. uh, but sexy news if you're an investor for marijuana.
Okay, thanks a lot, Rob. Thanks, Daria. We will see you later. If you have a question for Rob or a comment, you can reach him on email, Twitter, or X.